everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you a video I made for the Altenew blog and YouTube channel. So now it's here as well. Thank you so much for joining me. I am going to be using this um, Doodle the Dots cover die which sadly is discontinued. It's one of my favourites and I've had this one for years and years and years. So I, I do have a thing about kind of using my older products because I, I just, I don't want to be like pushing new stuff all the time. I, I do want to kind of make sure that I bring back my favorites. And this one, oh, it's right up there. I love it so much. So I am going to be showing you a couple of things that I've done um, for this card. So I have already cut out one and I poked out all of the little bits here and you can see it's just super fun and like, yeah, it's just, it's just good. And then on this one, what I did was I did a little trick where I, kept all of the pieces inside and then I put some double-sided tape on the back to make sure everything stays where it's supposed to go. But I thought I'd just show you how to do that if in case you wanted to do that yourself. So we're gonna take our cover plate and then obviously we're gonna take our die cutting machine as well and we're gonna take some cardstock and we're gonna be uh, we're not gonna be doing anything crazy. We're actually just gonna roll this through as normal. <laughs> Yes, I know there's a little bit of a build up there, but don't, don't worry. We are just going to do this as normal. We are going to um, roll it through in, in a normal sandwich. My plates are really warped, so I need to do the whole like flattening trick thing on them, but it doesn't actually matter too much for this bit. Now, this is the part where you're gonna wanna like care a little bit. So we're gonna flip it over so that hopefully all of the little bits and pieces are staying in place. And then on top of this, we are going to put some double, double, double sided tape. So this one is about five centimeters wide, about two inches. And um, we're gonna pop that down and cover as much of the pattern as we can. And then we're gonna rub a dub a dub so that all of the pieces in the pattern are sticking. And then to make sure that everything stays where it's supposed to go we are going to don't try to like take them apart we're going to very gently poke through the pattern with some either a pokey tool or tweezers like i'm using here and now we're going to zoom in a little bit because i came up with a better way of doing this so we're going to poke through a little bit we're going to lift the cover plate just a tiny bit kind of bend it a little bit and then we're going to poke through where you can see the white of the cardstock still being inside the pattern and then we're going to bend up a little bit more and then we're gonna see, okay, so there's one, there's one, there's one. And we're gonna keep on going until we have released all of the pieces into where they're supposed to go. So this, I know it's, it kind of looks like it is taking a long, long time, but this is probably, okay, so I'm not gonna say definitely, but I feel like this is the faster way of getting all of the bits and pieces, like the negative pieces, to actually stay where they're supposed to be, rather than taking the, the cover plate and the paper apart and then kind of hoping for the best, you know? And then you have to puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. So, especially with some of these circles, they are not perfectly round. So you would have to kind of make sure that you really found the right one for the right spot as well. So this, I just find, makes life a lot easier. Now, this one here, um, we are going to be using, uh, yes, we are, we're gonna zoom out a little bit more so we have some space. Now, I'm gonna show you a little thing that I do to kind of add extra texture and layer and depth, I guess you can say. So this piece here, you can put this down onto a, a normal card base and it would look beautiful and splendid and great. If you, like me, are like slightly obsessed with texture and you know want to make everything like an, a little bit extra, then if you do this thing that we've just done with the back panel then and then you add this on top, you actually get a little bit more of a depth to the pattern because of the imprint in the background and then this on top. It just, it's a tiny, tiny thing. And if you're in a hurry, I would say just skip this and just maybe like layer up two pieces on top of each other rather than trying to you know put all of the bits and pieces inside and then you know the double-sided tape and yada 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 anyway food for thought if you like to do this sort of thing now we're going to add a little bit of color to this because you know we can't have just too white can we <laughs> no so we are going to start with puffy heart and and also a little um, mini ink blending tool so here 
I probably, I mean, okay, so fair kind of admission, confession, I suppose. I used a blending tool because I wanted to be able to kind of create a bit of an ombre. So I wanted to have a little bit more of uh, control, control over where the ink was going. If, again, if you're in a bit of a hurry, you could actually just take the ink pad and just like swipe it across. Yeah. And I, I actually think that that would look really, really cool because you're not gonna, unless you really, really kind of like mush it in there, you're gonna get some really fun, like stripey kind of pattern. So that could actually add a bit of fun texture to your card as well. So maybe that's something to add to the to-do list. Okay, memo to self, remember that. And then next color is purple vine or wine. I can't say, oh, I can't say that word. So purple wine, and we are going to keep adding more and more color. So we're kind of creating that like ombre effect. If you just want to add one color, all you got to do is you start with a really, really heavy hand at the bottom or the top, depending on how you prefer to ink blend. And then you just blend it out until there's hardly anything left. So you don't actually need three different colors to create an ombre. You, you just need one actually. And then you need a lot of patience. Not going to lie. You need a lot of patience, but that's something for another day. So here we are going to have a look because, you know, yeah, it does look kind of crazy when we are looking at the panel itself. But then when you put that cover plate on top, mm, very nice. Now this stamp set, You Are Everything, is, mm, it's everything, let me tell you. So the stamp set is called You Are Everything, but I think it's everything. It has a little coordinating die cut that cuts out the You Are, and I adore that, absolutely adore that. We are going to use quite a few of the sentiments in this set because I couldn't pick just one. I, I thought I was going to be able to, but I have a bit of an issue with like reining myself in and kind of, you know, stopping with one or two. So we are going to add, I think we ended up with four on this card, but you know, it, it's really, it's, it's like an empowerment card. We're going to go for like, not just, you're not just one thing. You're this, you're that, you're that, and you're amazing. So we're going to really make somebody feel fantastic and great. So I'm going to be using the stamp wheel to stamp up some of these because I am incapable of stamping anything like just one time these days. I must have a stamping tool. So if you don't have a stamping tool, I would highly recommend getting one. It is a complete game changer. It really is. Um, yes. But again, stamping tool, yes, 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 100%. Now, you might notice that I am kind of like fiffaffing around here uh, in the video and I'm like, oh, what's happening? But what was happening was that first I was thinking I was gonna use just one sentiment, uh, but I, I didn't wanna decide which one before I stamped that because apparently that's what you know normal people do and I, I do not identify as normal. So I decided to stamp up four and then I had an idea to kind of add yet another layer to my card <laughs> because, you know, I, I didn't have enough already. So I'm going to stamp these like on a on an angle so that they're kind of like stepping upwards. And then the UR is at the top. We are going to, there's a little bit of a, a method to this madness. Just bear with me, bear with me. I have not completely lost the plot. So we're gonna line up the cardstock with the bottom corner, so the left-hand corner, with where basically the blade comes down. And then we're going to shift our cardstock so that we're, we're cutting as close as we can to the sentiment but without chopping anything off. So that we end up with a beautiful little triangle, yes. And then the UR, we are going to cut that out with the coordinating die. And we are also going to cut out another few little pieces, yes, because Again, I could add these as they are with just the one layer, but no, 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 that's not what we do here, is it? No, <laughs> we layer things up until there is no more layering to be done. So um, I am fairly sure that I added two layers on this one, but I mean, I could have probably done three because I'm a bit of a lunatic. Yes, a layering lunatic, ha, okay. That is definitely going to stick. So we are going to use a little bit of liquid glue. We're going to add a deer, these together, layer them up, and we're going to create a 
yes, we're gonna we're gonna finish off our card basically. So again, if you have been here before and you have seen me layer things up, you will know what I'm gonna say. Always use liquid adhesive when you're layering up things, yes. And then when all of your pieces are ready, we are going to turn them all, we're gonna puzzle them all together as a card. Yes, we are. So again, we're gonna add a little bit of liquid adhesive here because we are gonna wanna be able to align this up perfectly. At least that is what I thought as I was adding the glue to this, but plot twist, just as I added this to my card base or my background there, uh, an idea struck and it refused to leave. So I went with it, yes. So at first I was thinking, yes, this is gonna go perfectly over the, the pattern. Um, so I was like, okay, yeah, this is definitely the way. And then here, as I was placing it down, I think it kind of, it, it, it slipped a little bit. And I was like, oh, but that's interesting. I kind of like it. The pattern in the background was kind of showing through and creating like an extra little bit of texture and interest there. So I was like, you know what? We're going to go for it. We are. Yeah. So I, I was, you know, I was not expecting to go this route, but I am kind of glad I did. So we are going to have to like chop up a, a little, chop up? <laughs> no, we are going to have to chop off a little bit around the edge there but that's okay we can do that that's no big deal uh what we are going to do we are going to add a little bit of the instant foam uh, or instant dimension foam tape to the backing tape that i used on the double-sided tape always keep these people pieces no that that was not right always keep the backing pieces people because this will come in very handy when you need to trim down things like uh, foam tape that doesn't have backing tape so it will save your scissors from getting super sticky and nobody likes sticky scissors. So let's just avoid doing that. So with this, we are going to trim the pieces down a little bit and we're gonna try to, we're gonna cut at an angle at the top so that we are getting that triangle shape. Everything is gonna be very nice and solid. It's not gonna dip anywhere. If you don't wanna add this much foam tape, I don't blame you. You do you. I just tend to, I, I tend to go to town. It's like one of those things I do. Yeah. But again, if you're not new here, then you know this. <laughs> that should not come as a surprise. No. But anyway, uh, we're going to add lots of foam tape here. We're going to make sure that our entire triangle is covered. And then we're going to place this onto our card. I will also say here that when I um, um, took all the backing tape off, I was... I was feeling a little bit bold. I think it was from the, you know, adding the, the background on like a slight angle to get that extra texture coming through. I was like, hey, I'm on a roll. So I nearly attempted to stick this down just like this. And then I was like, no, 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 no. Hold up, woman. You know, you've already had one win. This is not going to end well. So we're going to add a little bit of liquid glue to uh, the foam tape here so that I can slide it around if need be, if it doesn't end up in sort of the, the correct position, because we are going to want this to be very nicely lined up on uh, with our card base so that it's not, you know, all wonky and stuff. So th that is one little top tip trick to help with getting things on uh, when you're using foam tape as well. And then it was a little bit of puzzling around with uh, the uh, the UR. And I, I was a, a little bit torn about this, to be honest, but I think it ended up quite nice with having them on like different levels because it just, um, yeah. I, I can't really explain why I like it. I just, I do, I do, I, I really like it. And then I really wanted to add some embellishment. So I decided to use some of these super cute sugar plum heart enamel dots. So they had to be hearts because it's such a like cutesy card and like, you know, you're enough just as you are, love you more than you know and all of this. So, you know, it, it had to be hearts. And um, I, again, I have a little bit of an embellishment problem. <laughs> But I think these are so cute and, you know, the cards have such sweet sentiments that I was like, you know what, it, we need we need some, some more of these. And then I did actually 
off camera, I did add one more, like right by that, uh, love you more than you know. Um, and I don't think that I kind of realized that that would be a nice little touch until I had done the trimming and all of this. And then I kind of put the card down and I was like, you know what? Yeah, that one needs a little heart as well. But you will see that in the photos that are coming up. Um, and we're going to look at that right now. So you can see right there at the bottom, loved, you are more loved more than you know. But that is it from me for today. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see you very soon again. Bye for now.